Hi, I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. Although I'm a carpenter by trade and I'm a homeowner like most of you, uh, I always seem to find myself with having to have wire nuts and electrical tape in my box whenever I start a renovation project because that electric that you have to work around or that you have to sometimes cut free from the wall or appliances disconnect is something that you have to do to do for me to be able to do my part of the project. Uh, although I'm not an electrician, I have a handy little tool that will help you out in that tight spot of is that hot, was that abandoned, what the deal is, uh, just to keep you a little bit safer on the project. What I have here is a voltage tester. It's got a little plastic end on it, clips on my pocket, uh, it runs on some AAA batteries that you can buy from any store. This voltage tester has a simple on off switch that when you press it, it turns it on and it illuminates the end green. With a simple test to make sure that this works into a hot plug, you're ready to use it. Way to test this tester to make sure it's working, go to a plug that you're sure is active. You had something plugged in here, a light or something. There's always going to be a return side. That won't do anything. You're looking for the hot wire. You go to the hot side, press it in, it'll glow red, and it'll make a beeping sound letting you know that this tester is working. And here's a perfect example as a homeowner or a renovator. I, after removing all the stuff out from under the sink, whether I'm doing plumbing work or whether I'm you know, removing this kitchen, lo and behold, here's these wires hanging out, hanging out of the wall. There's no switches or anything that I can find that are up on top. Uh, I'm not sure if this was an old thing to a disposal. If it's hot, there's also a ground wire that's hanging off of it. Uh, I could test that real quick after I've tested my voltage tester. I can test that. Nope, doesn't seem to be hot. Is this going to be a hazard to me? Obviously the answer is going to be yes. Now I can always have my helper go down in the basement and find that circuit breaker and turn circuit breakers off if they're not marked until I find which one operates this and kill it while I work around it. And basically that's about the size of it. Uh, whether you're an electrician or not, having this is very handy. Uh, I've used it on many occasions, cutting openings through walls and then here are some wires. I have no clue where they're coming from or where they're going to, yet to do my part of the work pending the electrician showing up, I need to cut them free from the studs and, and uh, even sometimes I'll just split the wood around them so that they'll get out of my way so I can do my work so that when the electrician gets there he can reroute them without having to stop the project and get an electrician there at an additional expense to move things that I could possibly work around without having to, to wait on that. Uh, it also has a shut off feature if you accidentally leave it on and tuck it in your pocket after a certain amount of time it will automatically shut itself off saving the batteries. Uh, that's about it. I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. Yet another useful tool that a homeowner or a renovator can use that I wouldn't start a project without.